Uh, federal partnerships, <clears throat> uh, it's been an incredible year. Uh, not something that Brent and I expected was that we were going to have so much uh, access uh, and so much interaction with uh, federal decision makers who can make decisions. And, and again, uh, in many cases, a uh, you know, a presidential visit to a small rural state like North Dakota will occur in the last month of the last uh, day of their second term. Uh, you know, here we've got a, a, a new sitting president who's uh, not only uh, eight months into uh, his term, decides to do a major policy. Uh, this is the kickoff of the tax reform uh, for the nation happened in North Dakota, uh, and, and, and that was, a, a, you know, one of, one of many partnerships. But at the, at the cabinet level, uh, whether it's in uh, <clears throat> Secretary Zinke of the Interior, Secretary Chow, who was in Fargo for the uh, drone focus event, uh, Secretary Purdue, who was very helpful in working with uh, Commissioner Goring and I on the drought relief, uh, uh, EPA Director Pruitt, uh, who was, has taken the lead in, in, uh, in helping uh, roll back the WOTUS, the Waters of the USA, which was going to be detrimental to virtually every farmer in North Dakota. Uh, the, at the cabinet level interaction, lots of things that are happening that are great, that are pro-business, pro-energy, pro-agriculture, pro-North Dakota. And it's been, uh, in, in, in talking to, I've had a chance to meet 40 other plus other governors from both parties, doesn't matter which party they're in. They say they've never had more access to cabinet people. They've had more access in the last eight months to cabinet, or the last 12 months to cabinet leaders than they had in the previous eight years. Cabinet leaders are the ones that make it, make it happen for states like us. And so, uh, you know, I, I would say focus, that's signal. There's a lot of other stuff that goes on in D.C. that's noise, uh, and that gets the headlines. The signal is that we've got cabinet leaders that are helping make our state better every day. Up north, uh, We've got this border with Canada that we sometimes don't even talk about, uh, but 310 miles long, 18 border crossings. Canada's our number one trading partner, uh, and, and uh, both in ag and in energy. And uh, it's been quite a year on that front, uh, where uh, we had a chance this last summer to meet uh, uh, the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. That's Catherine and I, and I want to give a shout out. That's my daughter, Jessie, and today is her 22nd birthday. So happy birthday, Jessie. So. <laughs> Lower left, that's uh, the uh, Canadian ambassador, David McNaughton. I've had a chance to meet him three times. Outgoing premier, uh, Brad Wall, uh, who's the, the premier of Saskatchewan. And then uh, Brian uh, Pallister and his wife, Esther, uh, the premier and his wife of Manitoba. Uh, and you can tell from that picture, they were both collegiate basketball players. Uh, <laughs> and, and he's... Brian's also a fast-pitch softball player. He's been to like 20 tournaments in Fargo, so he really knows uh, Fargo. And I was uh, joking with him, and we forget that up in Winnipeg, there's 675,000 people living in Winnipeg, and uh, we've only got 750,000 in the whole state of North Dakota. And he goes, what are the things you're working on? And I said, I'm working, we got 13,000 jobs open. I'm working on getting 13,000 people to move south from Winnipeg. Uh, <laughs> to fill all these jobs. But anyway, he, he, we had some great partners up there. We do touch not only trade, but water. You, you get it right here with the, with the Suris River. You understand how important the relationships are. Uh, and we want to keep working with the Red River Basin, which crosses the borders, the Assiniboine Basin, which crosses the borders. Uh, there's lots of things we can continue to build partnerships with Canada for a better future for North Dakota. Uh, those federal partnerships, of course, uh, also lead uh, to the military. Uh, we were honored uh, in just a month after the presidential visit to have the uh, Secretary of the Air Force and the Vice President of the United States uh, visit uh, Minot. It's not only critical to our local economy at a time where we still have, unfortunately, uh, global tensions and potentially global nuclear tensions, which are...